shove a canister of nitrous oxide right up my ass, I still wouldn't care about Need for Speed. Apologies to those who think neon lights make their car look cool. I think it makes you look like a douche. So obviously, I'm not exactly the target audience for this kind of game. I'm just not at all into racing games, but since it was sent to us by a loyal Undertoad, I figured I'd give it a shot. This is Need for Speed under, holy crap, Brooke Burke is hotter than Venus during the summer and full of naked chicks. By the way, who thought this was a good idea? Playing a racer in the game was a lot of fun, but on the streets, I make sure to drive safely and responsibly. When it comes to racing, make sure you only do it on the streets of Underground 2. Yeah, great idea to have Brooke Burke give the obligatory don't drive like a moron speech. There's not a guy on this planet who heard anything she just said. The only information they gathered from that was boobs, boobies, sexy time, cleavage, boobs. Speaking of pairs, this is the second Underground title in the Need for Speed series. That doesn't mean it was some kind of obscure release you could only order from an Scandinavian website. That means it's the sequel to the 2003 original, and it may or may not take place in the Earth's lithosphere. Actually, it's set in a place called Bay City, a massive metropolis where Vin Diesel films evidently play nightly at most theaters, and no one pays to see them because they waste all their money on neon lights. You're a newcomer to Bay City, or as Burke's Rachel Teller calls you, a guest. Remember, this is my town. You're a guest. So oh, is that so, Rachel Teller? Well, uh, Teller, I'm bunking with you, m'lady. So, of course, you have to earn props and street cred by making mad bank, which is like dip speak for develop a positive reputation by winning money in various illicit street activities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we do now, now that I've explained it with real words. By the way, these, these cutscenes are all laggy and stuff. I think it's because the disc is scratched. So, you know, huge thanks to our good pal Joe from Florida for sending this. But take better care of your games, Joe. Come on, do it for Brooke. At least the gameplay seems to work all right, and I guess that's most important. Underground 2 was a pretty dramatic improvement on the first Underground game, offering a truly massive world for players to, you know, drive around in. You could easily spend 40 hours playing the career mode, but what you're actually doing is pretty simple. You're driving around Bay City, you're breaking laws, and you're listening to god-awful music. Missions and bonuses alike are scattered all over this sprawling cityscape, so there's a genuinely massive amount of things to do. There are different kinds of races, there's garages for customizing your whip, son. But again, it's all dependent on how much driving around enthralls you. Again, I don't play a lot of these games, so there's not a whole lot I can say about Need for Speed Underground 2 from a driving perspective. I crashed a lot, and I couldn't find the button for the red shell. But the sheer amount of content here is genuinely impressive, especially for a seven-year-old game. I mean, even I had fun driving around Bay City, so for street racing wannabes, Underground 2 is highly recommended. Yo. Yo.